Hello there, Goals here, and welcome back to LEGO World. It has been a very, very long time, I would guess. Uh, like two months or something. So, I hope you all had a good Easter. I know I did. I ate an awful lot of chocolate. And so we are back in LEGO Worlds, finally. And I've started a new world. And it is a beta early access world, so it is an absolutely giant one. And I haven't really explored much of it yet, which is why, obviously, you can't see any of it on the map. Um, so I started on this island here. And I pretty much just started building in the ocean. Because, well... So obviously the plan is to colonise this whole world. And where better to start than exploiting the world for its resources under the ocean. So that's what we're doing here, we're building an oil rig. And, you know, once once we know there's money to be made here, I guess we can start building set settlements here. So yeah, this is the oil rig. It's not finished yet. I know oil rigs are usually made on the shore and then carried out into the ocean by like big barge ships but uh, yeah we can't really do that in this game we just have to build it in the ocean basically and that's what I've been doing so I guess we should probably start from the bottom so obviously we've got the the legs the support structures that are holding it up um, under the water we have well, you can see the drill going all the way down into the ground, as well as this pipe here, which is where the oil that is drilled out of the ground is pumped up onto the oil rig by. Um, and we have this platform here, which is obviously for people getting on and off of the platform by a boat. So you get on here, and then you can climb up this ladder. I think most people who work on oil rigs are somewhat, uh, somewhat fit, or at least able to climb ladders and things like that. So yeah, so we have the this like under platform, platform, just the walkways and things going around these things. I guess it's mostly for maintenance and electrics and other things like that. And here we have uh, some tanks, some oil tanks. We've got a whole bunch of these along the bottom. And obviously this is for storing the oil that is drilled. And we have some generators here as well, because obviously the platform needs power all these lights and the drill and everything else. Alright, so that's pretty much the downstairs bit for now. So we head up up these stairs here. Right, these things are really doing my head in, these troublemakers. Okay, they should be should be arrested for, for trespassing. But anyway, so we're on the first level. There's not really much here, it's kind of uh, Kind of a bit, bit boring, I guess. I just haven't built much stuff in it yet. I'm still building all of like the buildings and things still. Um, so there's not really much. Obviously, in the centre here, we've got the we've got the drill going all the way up to the top of the tower, and we've got a door over here, which just leads to like this little outside balcony area, which you can then go up these stairs and through here. We have a room, which uh, which doesn't have anything in yet, and that's pretty much all of the rooms, apart from one, which actually has, uh, it's basically the crew cabins, we'll get there in a second when I can remember where it is. Yeah, another room with nothing in yet. So I don't really know what they have in the buildings in rooms in an oil rig, I guess they have rooms full of computers. Um, for, you know, monitoring the whole process. And 
I guess, some kind of, like, what do they call it, boat traffic control or, like, radar and things uh, to communicate with ships that are coming towards the oil rig, I guess. Uh, also making sure there's no pirates coming and things like that. Oh, look, here's some of the workers. There's a whole bunch of them dotted around. Uh, so yeah, we have like these walkways all the way around as well. We have these big oil tanks right here. I guess they're the main tanks that we have. And, you know, there's like pipelines going from them. Going up to where the drill is. So, oh, because obviously that's where they're filled up from. Uh, so we've got Octan. We've got an Octan sign. That's obviously the oil company in charge here who own the platform and down here on this bottom floor we do actually have like some control panels and stuff here I don't know if they're like uh, you know just circuit boards and uh, fuses and things like that and uh, we also have the computers controlling I guess the inflow and outflow of oil from these big tanks We've got another work down here. Why is the trader here? That's that's so annoying. It's just in the way. All right, and then on here we've got this crane that I built. It's not the best looking thing, but it does the job. So you can climb up here, open it up, and go up the stairs. And we need kind of we need to put a seat in here, really. Let's be honest. Because nobody wants to stand and operate a crane for hours. So what do we need? Street? Nope. Um, home. Yellow. Okay. Might have to be like slightly off to the side. I don't know. Otherwise, how are we going to sit on it? That's the only thing I'm thinking. Oh, great. And now we've spawned outside. Uh, so there's like an aircon unit thing on the top here, as well as uh, a floodlight, and then there's an actual crane arm. Right, let's try and sit on that seat. Will it work? Yeah, kind of. It's a bit... Um, it's a bit cramped in here, but it's okay. Now, the question is, how do we get out? I guess we can't, can we? That always happens in this game. Alright, I'm trying to remember where the crew cabins are. I think they're through here. Oh, yeah. They're just here. So, there's a bunch of bunk beds. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five bunk beds. Put our little table in the front, at the front of here for playing poker and card games and stuff. And a couple of chairs. So, you know, nothing luxurious. But it does the job, I guess. I was actually meant to put a door in this wall here. I just haven't done that yet. And, um... Yeah, there's a few other rooms that don't even have they don't even have doors yet. Like this one does, there's nothing in there. But you can't get to the floor above, I don't think. Or maybe you can actually. I can't remember whether I put it in or not. I did. Yeah, we went through here before, didn't we? Alright, never mind. Yeah, I just so basically I just need to put a door in this top floor now. And it should be sorted. And maybe put a ladder up to here or something as well. Or a staircase. Why is there so many of these on here? It literally makes no sense. But, uh, but okay. Alright, so we've got a helipad as well here, obviously. I did actually put a helicopter on here, but it appears that it, it is no longer spawning. I have no idea why. I guess I'll put another one on. 
Uh, which one did we have? The jungle cargo helicopter. Hang on, wait a second. I just realised something. Oh no, never mind. I thought all the modded stuff was gone. But it's not, it's still here. I kind of think this helicopter would look pretty cool because it's a lot bigger. But then again, the propellers don't turn. But then again, it's just sat still there, so it doesn't really matter. And it looks really weird with those long, long legs. Shall I keep that? I'll get a different one. Well, imagine if this helicopter actually had that grabber thing on. It would be so cool. I imagine being able to pick up like the oil tank things and stuff with it. That would definitely be sick. Uh, so you may be wondering what I'm going to do after this. Uh, and Well, I'm going to finish building this first of all. And then... I think it'll be cool if we built maybe some oil tankers or some other kind of, you know, boats and things to put around the oil rig. And then I think we should move on to the shore. We'll probably go to those close those closer islands there perhaps. And I think we'll build like an oil refinery, maybe a, a little harbor. Um, for the oil tankers and stuff to transport the oil there. I think that would definitely be really cool. And I guess we'll just expand out from there because, as I say, this is an early access world, so it's absolutely huge. And here we're probably looking at about, I don't even know, like 2% of it. Like, they are, they're massive worlds. This is barely, this barely scratches the surface. So I think that's the plan um, for now. Obviously, there's an awful lot of things that we can build in a world this size. Uh, I would like to build another big harbour where I will build uh, the Titanic, uh, the Britannic, and whatever the other one's called. What was it called? I'm actually going to Google it right now. Just bear with me. Titanic... Britannic and Olympic. Okay. So obviously I've already built the RMS Titanic and the RMS Britannic, aka the HMHS Britannic, because it was used. Um, as a, as, a medic, as a medical ship in the Navy, so that's why it changed its name. And yeah, the RMS Olympic, but it's pretty much exactly the same as the Titanic almost. I don't actually know what the differences are, I guess I'll have to look into that. But uh, yeah, that's what I plan on doing. Uh, yes, yeah, so I really want to be uploading regularly again on this channel. Um, like, I really want to do that, but the problem is, most days I don't have the motivation to play games, never mind to edit videos. Um, so if you want to see regular uploads, make sure to hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing. Leave a comment as well, you know, that really helps motivate me when I get nice messages from you guys. And, uh... I think that is it for this video. Oh yeah, I'll quickly show you this little crane thing as well on the side. Uh, so this is pretty much exactly the same one as I have on the Britannic. It's just a little side crane thing. I guess to load up, load up oil tankers and things, or little boats like that one over there. That noise is very irritating, so I'm going to end the video right there. Thank you very much for watching. As I said, if you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing. I don't know why this guy can't wave by looking forwards. He always turns around. What's he doing now? He's meant to be waving. Why is he crying? There we go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.